Hey everyone, Brian Lagunas here, and today I'm going to answer another tech question. If you have a tech question you'd like to have answered, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment below with your question, and I may just answer it in my next video. This question comes from the email I received just last week. And the question was, Brian, I have multiple interfaces in my application, and I have one class that implement these interfaces. I'm like, great, sounds good, what's the problem? Well, the problem is, is that some of these interfaces have the same method name. Not only that, they actually have the same method signature, meaning not only is the name the same, the return type is the same, and even the parameters are the same if there are any. So the question was, Brian, how do I have a class that implements multiple interfaces that have the same method signature and name and everything, except be able to provide a unique implementation for each of those methods? Because he was explaining right now, when I have two interfaces on a class that have the same name, I implement the interface. In my class, there's only one method declaration, just one. But that, that means I don't know which one I'm calling. Am I calling interface one, or interface two, interface three? I, I can't provide different implementations. Well, how do I do this? That's actually a great question. And the way you would accomplish this is with what's called an explicit implementation of an interface. Now, there are two main scenarios for using an explicit implementation of an interface. One is you're trying to resolve conflicts. Just like in this specific question, this person has multiple interfaces with the same method signature defined on them, meaning there is a conflict between each interface and each interface needs its own implementation. The second scenario is when you want to hide an implementation of your API publicly. As you may know, when you implement an interface on an object, it's public, its properties are public, its methods are public, the entire contract is public. But let's say that you're writing an API or some type of functionality that is really used more internally or for extension points, and you don't want those methods or properties being exposed publicly onto your API. Well, you can hide those and still implement those interfaces. Let's see just how easy it is to explicitly implement an interface. Roll that intro. The application I'm working with today is a very simple .NET Core 3 console application, which does nothing, but we're about to change that. Let's go ahead and create a new class. We'll make it a public class and we'll just call it my class. Now, remember the requirements for this question is I have two interfaces with the same method signature that one class implements. Okay, so let's go ahead and create two interfaces, public interface, and I'll call this, I don't know, I metric. Then I'll create a, another interface and I'll call this I Imperial. We'll just do something like a method that returns a double and it's called calculate. I'm gonna copy and paste that into our other interface and let's have our class implement both I Metric and I Imperial. I'm gonna go ahead and implement the interface and we're gonna get a method called calculate. Let's simply return a double dot max value. Now let's go to our main of our program and let's create a new instance of this object. Let's say var obj equals new my class. As you can see, we have a class that implements both iMetric and iImperial. They both have a calculate function. However, it's obvious by the interface name that these calculate functions perform completely different calculations and will give you a completely different result. However, because our class implements both of them, we only get one calculate method. So if I look off the API, on my class here, I can see that the obj dot IntelliSense is showing me a calculate method. And this method actually returns some type of value. But which value? If I if I run this, which, which, which value are we getting? I don't know if this is gonna be Imperial. I don't know if this is gonna be metric. We don't know. So this is where the problem comes in. Luckily, the solution is very easy. In order to achieve the desired result of having two interfaces, with the same method signature implemented on a single class, we want to use what's called an explicit implementation of an interface. So to do this, for example, I'm going to remove the public scoping of this method. And right before the calculate declaration, I'm going to say I metric dot calculate. I have now explicitly implemented the interface for I metric. You will immediately notice I have the red squiggly. This means we are no longer implementing this interface. So let's go ahead and implement this one as well, but I'm gonna show you a trick. 
If you pull down the suggestion light bulb, you can see we have an implement interface and it shows you the code snippet of what you'll get, or you can implement all members explicitly, which means it's going to do the automatic implementation of an explicit interface. Let's go ahead and remove that and we'll return uh, zero for Imperial. Now, there are two main reasons you would want to use an explicit implementation of an interface. One is if you're trying to hide the implementation from an API, or two, you're trying to resolve conflicts. So let's look at those two scenarios. First, by implementing both of these interfaces explicitly, we have fixed the conflict. We have resolved the conflict of having two interfaces with the same method. We now have individual methods implemented explicitly for each interface. So how do we now invoke these specific methods? Well, let's say var r1, so result1, equals, we have to take the object and cast it as the interface. So for example, imetric, and we can say dot calculate. I'm gonna copy and paste this, except I'm going to rename this to R2, and we will say this is I Imperial. This is now the only way that we can invoke either one of these calculate methods is by casting the object to the respective interface and calling the methods off that cast. So now if we look at the OBJ and we see the IntelliSense no longer has the calculate method available to us in the public API. Because not only are we resolving conflicts here, but we're also hiding that implementation from the public API. Now we do have options here. So for example, let's say that maybe the metric calculate is default and we wanna have the metric. Well, I can choose to implement the metric API publicly and keep the Imperial explicitly implemented. What this will do, we comment out the cast, is it will provide the calculate method, but this calculate method will be the metric implementation. So to demonstrate this, let's just do a console.write line. And I don't know, this is metric. We'll copy that and we'll paste that into our Imperial. Hey, this is Imperial. And now that we're calling this, let's, let's just run the application. So if we look at the console here, we can see that this is metric is printed out and this is Imperial is printed out. And that's because we have changed the API to publicly expose the metric implementation. Therefore, we're getting this is metric. However, we are casting the object as I Imperial to access the explicitly implemented method of calculate on the I Imperial interface. And that's really all there is to using explicitly implemented interfaces to either resolve conflicting methods or to hide your implementation of an API.